I'm gonna wait for this to go by at least once. There. Now, if you're down and in the grass, and it usually doesn't, it won't trigger. Even though she's wearing a a red head thingamabobber, you would think that that would be very obvious to see, but obviously not. We've got a uh, we got sh some real thinkers on them searchlights. Hope well, it's it's good for us though. So whatever, we'll go with it. And then right about here is where you need Alicia, give or take. Right behind this tree is right around this corner is what I've been setting up for this whole mission that I find such a be a huge pain in the ass. Here we go. Oh, uh, that's that's yeah, very helpful, dude. Let's trip yourself up on a tree. Real soldier like there. And then we can apply more magic glowing leaf thing to her. That'll give her even more mobility and distance Alicia, to travel, which helps. Alicia, here's more Ponisera. Let's get this on that ankle. All right. Oh, thanks. It hurts even less now. It's again, it's a weird sounding herb to apply to, you know, the... Well, what, what kind of sound is that? Seriously. That's good. But still, don't push yourself. Unfortunately, you don't really have much of a choice. All right, so uh, as of right now, there is really nothing else to do. You only have one command point, so you can't really do much of anything with it uh, at all. So the best thing to do right now, I would say, is we can end the current action yeah we're not going to do anything with that there's nothing else you can really do um and then we'll even end it our turn early and save that command point uh for the next turn in my experience those two never come around the corner i don't think i've ever seen that ever so you know around this corner you're safe And the one you got to be worried about is the, is the named one. He's a shock trooper, if I remember correctly. Uh, and his weapon does ridiculous damage. Alright, so... This is a hard one to... Uh, do and it can go very bad very quickly so before you rip around that corner you're going to want to save even if you hate the fact that I save all the time uh, I really don't care this is one of those times where you need to save right here before this corner uh, cause the moment you duck your head around it's almost immediately that you're gonna as soon as you kick forward enough he's gonna start shooting at you uh, the idea is you're going to want to use Welkin because he'll be able to get out further. Uh, the idea is you want to get out as far as you can, duck down into the grass, and then enter into your firing mode as fast as possible. Uh, this stops him from... And obviously, you want to get as far forward as you possibly can into your prone position and into the firing position uh, as soon as possible so that he stops firing on you before you die, obviously. Uh, if you don't, you will die. There's no way to get around this corner with, you know, in, in further into the bush uh, without him killing you. I've tried. Uh, I've researched th this mission myself, trying to do it over and over and over again. Uh, there's no real way to get past this guy without having a conflict. And this is the best way that I've come across fighting him, which is, <sighs> for a strategy game, it's a little bit short-sighted because it's just, it's not much of a strategy to just run around the corner and, you know, aim quickly, you know. But uh, Welkin goes first. He's got more mobility. He'll be able to get out further before being uh, shot upon, theoretically speaking. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so hopefully I remember all the buttons. Here we go. Because this uh, is annoying. So, uh, okay, you see the campfire. There's a spotlight, too, by the way. 
You see the campfire. The guy that's going to be shooting you is going to appear out of thin air uh, directly to the left of that campfire, slightly behind these, next to these two trees. To the right of these two trees, but uh, to the left of that campfire is where he'll be, but back further. Uh, and that's the named soldier guy who I forget his name off the top of my head. He's a shock trooper. I know that much. Uh, you need to rip around this corner, go far forward as you can, and duck into this uh, grass uh, without dying. Which, easier said than done. I've, I've done this uh, as clean as you could possibly hope and, you know, get through it without too much drama. I've done it... And had to redo it three or four times. You never know what's about to happen. Uh, other than I know for a fact it's going to be a pain in the ass. So. Let us let's try this. See what happens here. Alright. I think it's X. And then it's target mode is R1. Okay. Target mode is R1. Enemy sighted. There he is right there. Dude, look at how fast your fucking health goes down. That is ridiculous. Holy shit. Ty the Immortal. That's the asshole's name. Fucking guy is annoying. Oh, Welkin, you are amazing. And you're dead as well. Right, so we're going to have to redo that. Sorry, By going prone in the grass, sometimes he misses you, sometimes he doesn't. But again, I, there's no other way to do that. There's no other way. I've tried. It, it, it's, it's fucking annoying is what the whole thing. No, you don't. Load. Uh, it's fucking annoying is what it is. Because you'd think there'd be some way to sneak around. Nope. You, you go to the left. There's no cover at all. And then you're popping around to the left of him. Uh, he immediately turns. And then there's nowhere to, there's nowhere to duck down to. So... And again, you can't just run past him. You don't have enough health. Here we go. It's a matter of, you know, getting down into the cover fast enough. Uh Oh, goody. Tom Clancy's the division. I don't even have the game anymore. Enemy sighted. All right, there he is right there. So, again, same thing. Enemy sighted. <sighs> Got to love nature. Okay, I think we're... Yeah, okay, we'll survive that one. All right. And then, of course, end the action so he stops shooting you. Now, here's the other annoying part that's... And again, I'm going to save again because this is also quite annoying is that uh, by randomly shooting at Alicia, he could just randomly hit Welkin at the same time, thus killing Welkin and, you know eliminating any semblance of progress that you just made incredibly annoying again there's n this is the easiest way i've seen to play this map if there was cover to the left of him you know maybe you could do something tricky where you can try to get behind him but really uh, no there really isn't and the big thing is now you're going to want to bring alicia uh up as far as possible, but to the left of Welkin, so that, and then obviously down into the into the brush, so that the two of you can then shoot at him together. And the hopefully the hope is, is that between the two of you, this second time, you can take him out. Uh, from there, it's a whole lot easier. From there, there's that. From there, then you can. Um, I already saved, didn't I? I believe I already did. One fifty-seven. Yeah. Ooh, the time on my PS4 isn't even correct. Yeah, yeah, we saved. Okay. But yeah, after you take this guy out, Ty the Immortal, he is fucking annoying. Uh, there's a little bit of a shortcut. I sometimes I see it, sometimes I miss it. It's somewhere in here, and it brings you up. So right about here is where the next and last uh, glowing blue plant thingy is. Uh, to be perfectly honest, you can leave this guy here. It, it, like if you go, if you take both these guys out and you can come up here and you can get his weapon. Again, in my experience, those weapons that you pick up are never that good. So it's never really worth the frustration. But in this instance, we have to deal with him. 
Which again, incredibly annoying. So Welkin is uh, pretty much uh, lost at this point uh, until I can take out this guy. Moving out. So let us see how well this goes. Pull it together. Yes, definitely pull it together. Try to use the trees as much as you can and then... Okay, you see the Welkin's in there. And then you try to shoot. Don't even think of dodging. Good. Thank you for that. Please, I'll cover you, Alicia. Yes. Okay, there we go. That went a whole lot better. Hmm, yes. Yes, indeed. Again, down in the grass, you can't really uh, be spotted by the spotlight, which is good. And now we can just leave the guy there, leave the weapon. I don't care about the weapon. The weapon's not that good to begin with. Even though to, to you, it does a shitload of damage to everyone. When you have it doing it to other people, it just it, it kind of sucks. The range on the Imperial weaponry uh, is severely lacking. Right, okay, yeah, she's out of the she's out of the range of that. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's just a flesh wound. Walk it off. You can deal with it. Uh, and then he is targeting himself, so yeah, I'm just going to heal him. Even though it's really not necessary, I do it anyway, just out of habit. It's a good habit to get into. And we should be golden for the rest of this. The rest of this isn't too bad at all. Again, in my experience, that Ooh, other guy never... Re even though he again. just saw you go in and shoot his buddy, he's not going to really do much of anything about it. He's not going to go chase after you, which you would think would in real life that would be what happens. But again, video game logic. The pain's mostly gone now. Thanks again. I'm just glad it's working. So, Welkin, um, is that stuff edible? <laughs> edible? What? what? <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> huh? No. I'm just... I wondered if I could use it in a new bread recipe. You're out here in the middle of the woods being chased by soldiers and that's all you can think about? Really? Oh, I see. Well, the flowers have a sweet nectar to them, so it could be good. <laughs> uh, you tease me. We're sneaking around the woods, and you're thinking of baking bread. Oh, yes. Is that is that what gets you going there, Welks? I don't want to hear it, nature boy. Ooh! We even got a nature boy out of that one. Can we get a woo? <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's move on. I think I spoiled the microphone on that one. <laughs> okay, you know, here's the thing. You can move forward and try to, but the light comes pretty far back. Uh, I really, for the most part, I point him back this way just in case the guy tries to stick around. Like one in a trillion weird programming where I, I think all that other guy does is circle. He does the circle jerk is all he really does. So we should be good. Just in case, I'll turn him around. But, yeah, we'll just weather this. Uh, you know, with only one more command point, we really can't do much of anything. And again, with only one enemy on the field, this guy's just going to circle around and uh, not do much of anything. Yeah, pretty much what I expected. He's going to circle jerk it twice. Wow. Boom, and we're just out of the range of that, so we should be good. It's not going to make any difference because we're going to be able to get out of there beforehand. So, uh, to really, to be honest with you, I don't think it's going to, it really sh doesn't matter My turn, okay? who you take first. At this point, you're pretty much set to go. Again, it's just a matter of staying away from the light. And also the mines. Those mines right there will 
surprise you from time to time. And again, as you lay down, the, the, the spotlight won't see you even though it'll shine right on you. <clears throat> Which doesn't make any sense. She's wearing a giant red, you know, that, that hair thingy mabobber. You'd think they'd be able to spot that even in the dark. Looks like I managed to sneak past all right. I wonder if Welkin's almost here. Again, that's all you, that's as far as you need to get. And all you need to do is get Welkin there. And it, 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 the big problem is that Ty the Immortal is such an annoying little encounter. And then mission complete. We should be safe here, at least for a little while. Yeah, it just, just the tie the immortal is the hardest part about that mission. It's just the fact it's so slow and tedious. You got to take it one step at a time. It just you know kind of. Uh. But after the huge super battle you just had with Maximin, I can understand why they paced it that way. Let's look for a spot where we can rest. Right. It's too dark to cover much ground, even if we tried. And that's the other thing about this mission that's so weird is that it's a B rank. I just did B rank, and I did that clean. I don't honestly see how you could do that any faster, because any fit like there was two turns there where I had an extra command point that I didn't even really use. What else could you have done while not getting killed? Is the key. Again, I I don't see it. So. Okay, I'm guessing four turns is an A rank. Uh, I don't see it. Apparently it exists somewhere. And I did see the, uh, the machine gun. Even though the problem is, is that they're, they're, they're useless. In my expertise, you know, of seeing them and checking them out, I don't even really bring them into battle. It's just, you look at the stats and they're just like, okay, you know, you lose a lot of range. Which, that's both for picking up targets when people are walking by you and also when you're shooting you know the range means a lot in this game who'd build a cottage way out here not that I'm complaining or anything how's your ankle holding up sorry to make you walk so far on it no it's not too bad don't worry That's good. Still, let's get an herbal compress on it just in case. It just figures you'd know about herbs, Welkin. Oh yeah, he knows lots about herbs. He'll uh he'll tell you all about the different weeds in this forest. <laughs> well, this here is called Aloe Severa. Oh my it's a god. In the lily family. Are you serious? Aloe Severa. Like is that trademarked or copyrighted? Can you not say <laughs> Really, like, that is cringeworthy. Uh, just, wow. Aloe Severa. Right, okay, moving on. There's a jelly substance inside its leaves that helps combat swelling. <laughs> I should start calling you Dr. Nature. Very well, Doc. I entrust my ankle's care to you. All right, that should do it. How's it feel? A little weird? No, it's nice and cool. Thanks, Doc. I'm just glad we found something to help you. The pain should ease with time, too. So, Welkin, what got you interested in nature to start with? Well, I don't know. I guess it had a lot to do with my dad's influence. General Gunther's? Yeah. Whenever he came home, we'd take a trip collecting bugs in the mountains or swimming. Somewhere along the way, going on those trips turned into a love of nature for me, too. 
the general out collecting bugs? That's unexpected. Maybe so. I guess other people see him as a big, stoic military hero. He had his own share of worries, though. Yeah? My mom died as a casualty of the first European war. I don't think Dad ever got over the fact that he couldn't protect her. But everybody else was always praising him for being a great hero. The war won him respect and adulation, but it also cost him the love of his life. I think that always weighed on him, that question of what he fought the war for. I had no idea. But when he was out in the woods playing with me, he was always so bright and happy. Maybe I fell in love with nature because it always put the smile back on my dad's face. Oh, welcome. <laughs>